got my out of tire rod. So, uh, just gonna get to class and put this motherfucker on sometime today. Yeah, I most definitely love this shit. Definitely. Grab my keys. Just take the sway bar. Right, this has 10. Got to take the in and out of the tire rod out now. Yeah, that's the adjuster. This is the one that adjusts. This is the inner. This in and this outer. He said he wants us to take out the outer. I thought he told, I thought he said he wanted us to take out both. Oh yeah, and then he wants us to take out the center wing. So there gotta be Which this right here. It's probably this right here. Uh, this shit? Yeah, this is Need lower control arms that busted. That's busted right there. Uh hub bearings is needed, you know, the ball joints. They original cause they don't have the grease fitting, so they original for factory. Uh so start off with low control arms, hood bearings. This one, the control arm busted over here too. You see a bush and a rubber bush. And, uh, same way you're gonna do the ball joint and both hood bearings. Hood bearing on both sides. So uh yeah. This motherfucker, you need quite a bit of work. Oh, the shit got a little moisture there that's normal. Yeah. But you know, if there's you pour it on the side, then they're bad. Yeah. People, you don't need to change them. I mean, these things, shit, I've had mine in my truck for 11 years. They're fine. I, yeah, I remember because I busted the shocks on my last car last year and they was leaking. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> what happened? This big old snubber here for carrying big loads are going. You know, oh, yeah. Rough pavement or whatever. So yeah, as y'all seen, I had the Chevy in the shop up in the air. Um, I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. I ended up not doing my tire ride today. We was doing other shit. Uh, we was taking the sway bar and tire rides off a of Chevy S10 and then we got one motherfucking group that he know it all and we didn't even finish that today. So we put the shit in the toolbox. We got pictures of how the shit looks. So, you know, I was trying to tell him, but this dude act like he know it all. And, Ain't wanna fucking listen and this dad in the fucking third. So uh you know I'ma do that. I'm gonna do the tire ride tomorrow. Uh with the Chevy. You got you could have parked right there, you could pull in right here. On a fucking double bar fucking black people, bro. Um Uh, the Chevy need two front hood bearings uh, and two lower control lines. Uh, both lower control line bushings is busted. So, uh, need two control arms and two front hood bearings. This is what I'm talking about. I would not park my car, pull my car all the way up. The fuck I'm gonna leave my car out in the street for the gate. Fucking get risky, really risky in here. Fuck that shit. Don't walk your fat ass out here. You see cars coming. Fuck. But yeah, so uh the Chevy needs that need both. Um so I had it in the shop, I had her walk through the shop, come you know, walked her through the shop to her class and her uh, friend walked back from that class to the shop um, to come get the car. Uh, oh, y'all got kids. I mean, say, what the fuck, yo? They say, what the fuck wrong with your grown ass? But y'all got, y'all got the kids, so you get a pass, you get a pass. Y'all got the kids, can't say nothing about the kids. Can't say nothing about the kiddos. 
but uh, hi, bro. But uh, so yeah, uh, gonna have to uh, you know, invest some in the shit too. Like to fix that soon, also. That's what the you know the wheel rocking like when you stop or something. I thought it might have been a CV axle also, but it, it's the low control arms doing that cracking noise or creaking or whatever. And then like I, I had seen the wheel shift backward and forward, so which also is a good thing. When you change the lower control arms, you get new you get new ball joints because the ball joints are, uh, you know, straight completed with it. You know, it comes complete with the lower control arms. So, uh. It comes with it. So, uh, yeah, so, it, but me and another teacher, another teacher in a service shop, he was, when he was looking at it, you know, when we were looking at it, he was saying, this still got the factory ball joint. Which we was both surprised. They're constantly got the factory ball joints. The factory ball joints, the way they start designing them, they don't come with no, uh, with no thing. You know, like no, no uh, piece where you can take the grease gun and grease them. My teacher was telling us that this morning. Uh, excuse me. He was saying how you gotta poke a hole in the rubber with a needle, shoot some grease in. He said, and to keep from water getting up in there. Drying, you know, washing the grease away and rusting it out. Use like liquid electrical tape or some shit like that to cover that hole. It still got the factory ball joints. So this factory load control arms is on their car. Because the 13, so what, roughly going on eight years old. If not eight years old already. So, uh, yeah. And I was just really shocked about it. We both was, but everything else is good. Just need two front hood bearings, two low control arms, and Chevy is done. We should to get it soon. I'll catch y'all in the next video. As always, like, comment, subscribe.